canceled our show, Treme. Um, we were sad, mm. <laughs> and and so then they gave us. We had a we had a mini series called Show Me Hero that we'd had for about awesome. twelve years. Yeah. We had the book for twelve years. Um, Bill Zorzi was up in Yonkers for most of that time doing research and more research and. Um, so uh, they gave us, the, they gave a green light to the miniseries, and we thought, well, that's just a consolation prize because they canceled our series, and okay, now they're going to give us this six hours on uh, public housing in Yonkers, <laughs> which is, you know, to David, a fascinating subject, to Bill as well, yeah. but not the most marketable um, story, maybe. And... Um, we actually didn't even have a pitch. They'd had the script for a while. We had a conference call, and um, the head of miniseries at HBO was like, well, you know, you guys could just, um, you know, you probably don't have to spend a lot of money on this, so you can just hire some of those actors that nobody knows about. You know, they're always good. You always get good performances out of people, and you can just hire <laughs> like, one of those, those people and then hire, um, you know, one of your stable of directors that, you know, new and up and coming directors and it'll just be fine like just go do something simple and because basically what they were saying is we know this story's not going to go anywhere anyway nobody's going to watch it nobody watches our shows anyway but um, <laughs> and so but um but so i would actually so, argue that but okay. so that's what they so that's literally what they said and it was so depressing mm -hmm. it's yeah. like really like you know and it really did feel like a consolation prize so um we all hung up and then called each other back and we thought, well, what's the most sort of subversive thing that we could do? And so we, we hired Oscar Isaac and Winona Ryder and Alfred Molina and Jim Belushi right. and lots of other good actors, even in small you know, parts that came in um, to, to make this story so much more interesting than it could have been. And Paul Haggis mm -hmm. to direct all the episodes. <laughs> and, um, and I think that that's the only reason that you know, it had any kind of audience was, you know, because of what those people brought to it. But that was not, that was not in the plan for the studio at all. And they had to then, the other, the other thought was that they have to spend some money on marketing if they have this powerhouse team of oh, actors. Sure. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That, that, that's a good consolation prize, though. Um, <laughs> Jessica, funniest, worst? Oh, gosh, um, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm. Uh, I've, I've definitely met the, you know, like the feet going up on the mm -hmm. coffee table, yeah. and you just want to. I mean, that feels like a very familiar feeling of just wanting to, like you're still saying the words, but <laughs> and you just got to get to the end. It's horrible. It's I can't so much like specific. an audition. Like yeah. actors know it so well. Yeah, to as be a in writer, a, to you be don't. pitching a project as an actor, you're like, we're not. This is never going to happen. <laughs> or, or like, we could totally, this could happen. You can totally right. feel it. And you have such an experience of going in as an actor so many times, you know, that the difference is, as an actor, you don't do the same audition for many people, you know. It's, right. Well, you get told no and you're out. I think it's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's so interesting because, and actors are so much better at it probably, but I, I, I think, you know, the most successful pitches are when you're making a human connection, you know, it's just person to person and, you know, being humans in a room together. But for writers, it can be really shy, like that can be really hard. And I think it's its own particular mm -hmm. skill. It's very different from um, mm -hmm. just putting words on a page. And it's really something uh, I know I have to work at and think about and, you know, um, it's, it's, I think it's about being so prepared mm -hmm. that I can actually be myself, like the, the allow myself to emerge because I'm not panicked about, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, but I think, I think there is a really different skill 